All right. Uh, thought I'd talk a little bit today, block some chairs, uh, talk a little bit about uh, this four eye thing that everybody's, you know, <laughs> four eye four. Okay. Um, you know, odd spacing of nose, a defensive end. Okay. Uh, you know, he's on. Now, what we want to do with this four eye thing is, is we want to define yellow light. Okay. So let's say I'm the left tackle. Okay. There's a B gap. There's a C gap. Okay. I got a guy. We define yellow light as I can touch him. He's on me, but he's not in my gap. Okay. So a guy right in front of me, yellow light. Okay. Guy moves in a little bit, yellow light. A little bit more, yellow light. In my gap, green light. Why? Because I can go straight ahead and not touch him unless I want to. He's in my gap. I probably have to step at him to get a, to get two hands on him. That's green light. Yellow light, if I go straight ahead, I'll run into a piece of him. Usually, the, the, the guys that know what they're doing, they're going to put this guy as close to nose up as possible, and they're going to look at the guard. Okay? So, in a lot of ways, they are playing this like a three technique, but they're on the tackle. Okay, and, and of course, if they have contained responsibilities, if the guard pass sets, they just rush contain. It's no big deal. Okay, and it gives the outside backer a chance to drop off. Uh, you know, sometimes it's five. It's a it's a five down deal where he's the the, the outside backer is the contained guy. You know, and you can see that from the safeties. You know, well, sometimes they'll take a three technique and move them. You know, the whole the whole gamut of things. It's a true four down and. The, they move the three technique out, and everybody goes, oh, it's three down. No, it's four down. This guy's a giant, and he's going to rush. And But that's another story, okay? Anyway, we're going to talk about how to get a double team on the four-eye, okay? How to get a double team on the four-eye. Now, I've been talking about the shoulder roll thing for quite a while. I'm going to stand up for blocking chairs, so I'm going to take this chair and turn them into a, something like a four-eye. And we... We don't, like I said, we don't get big involved in, you know, three inches, four inches. That's yellow light. And whether he's nose up or he's inside, he's yellow light. And we're going to handle yellow light the same. And the trick is we want to give access to either the sniffer in a split crotch alignment or the tight end. Okay, so in order to give access for that double team, we want to get to the inside. Plus, we want to have a free hand to help control that gap if this man rocks out or if anybody runs through and he rocks out and the nose rocks rocks into our gap. Or he rocks into our gap, then we grab him with two hands because he becomes green light. Okay? But anyway, what, what, what I've been talking about is the shoulder roll and chip and staying on the angle like this. Okay? And I started thinking about it. I'm, I'm really I'm trying to establish – or or start with uh, a gator step, okay, to get a coil, to step into the crotch. Why not square up a little bit? I have the open leg to the gap. I have a free hand, okay. You're, everybody's going to say a flipper. No, well, I don't want it to be a flipper. I want it to fit into the body of that man. I don't want to be standing up and uncoiling. I just want to be the rock. Okay, I want to be the rock. Okay, and I want to stay down, and I want to give that tight end or that sniffer at least half of this guy, at least half of him. Okay, and I believe, and I saw this at a pro game the other night. Guy was in a four eye. The tackle gave access to the tight end. The tight end killed him, killed him. Okay. And I saw uh, last year, I believe it was Michigan versus Ohio State, they were trying to block this guy, okay? And he was just stoning the tackle. Nobody knew what to do. He, we didn't get any movement. Okay, I believe if we get the gator step, the shoulder roll, and then boom, and square it up, okay, I'm in pretty good shape. Now, of course, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be galloping, okay, and, you know, there's a lot of people out there calling gallops, all kinds of stuff. But the idea of gallop is we're never going to close the leg 
okay, to our responsibility. All right, so we want to keep an open leg and a free hand if we can to our responsibility. Okay, now if this man jumps in the gap, we grab him, green leg, no problem. If he rocks out red leg, we're going to get squared air anyway. In other words, he rocks out red leg, squared air. I might come back and, and chip him. I might grab something that's hitting my gap, or I might just be working to the linebacker. Okay, but it's a simple thing. I got to figure out a way to give access to the drive man. Well, this is a way. And that guy, is, if that's his feet and he's down, that's I'm pretty far away from him. All I got to do is, is coil. Ugh. Okay, stay coiled in the rock. But boom, here comes the, the, the drive man. Uh, you know, we a while back I posted this thing about the brick hod, you know, carrying bricks up a ladder. You'd carry it with a stick. Well, you'd carry shingles the same way. You'd go up the ladder like this. You wouldn't go like this because they'd fall off. You, you're doing that. You're putting pressure on it. But we don't want to uncoil. Okay, we want to break the glass. Okay, we want to just go in there and shatter the guy. But we don't want to uncoil ourselves. We don't want to come out of a position that's going to allow us to accelerate if somebody is hitting our gap. That's pretty much it. I don't think it's a big deal. Okay. Uh, the, the whole thing is, is to get that coil. Okay. A while back they were talking, there was a guy, Willie Colon, and he, he was doing the dip. I'm saying dip all the time. Be coiled. Stay coiled. Okay. Don't uncoil. Uncoil a little bit to shatter the glass. Be a rock. Don't get knocked backwards. Be a rock. A, a, a condense. That was the word that I've been using. But then we, I decided, well, coil doesn't sound as scientific and maybe somebody would like it better. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I got for you today. Take a look at it. Um, maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. I think it's good because if you can double team that four, I, he'll wind up, uh, he'll wind up pretty far. You'll take him right to the back backer. And if, if it's a front backer deal, okay, you just, you're square, you're steering him already to the front backer, like, you know, the accordion side, you know, a duo, something like that, back side of a gap uh, zone. Uh, you're, you're in pretty good shape there. But the trick is again, shoulder roll. Get it down so you don't get hit, you don't get grabbed, blah, 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 blah. And keep an open leg, keep a free hand if you can. Okay? That's it. All right.